So a, a very good afternoon to all. Um, okay, my name is Yvonne. Uh, I'm the Foundation Program Coordinator and Senior Lecturer from the Faculty of Design and Built Environment. Okay, today I'm going to uh, uh, talk about uh, creative curiosity in the pursuit of art and design. Okay, let's start off with the word creative, okay? Meaning relating to or involving the use of imagination or original ideas to create something. Okay, um, everyone can be creative. So if you have ideas in your head and are able to express it out into words using written languages or visual language, you are considered um, creative. Okay, creativity is the central to art and design. So in art and design, okay, ideas in our head are made into a visual form. Okay, so this visual form can take on a two dimensional or a three dimensional. So now let us look into the word curiosity, okay, an eager desire to know or learn about something. Okay, um, it, it, the curiosity makes one uh, keep on asking why and go beyond just surface level of knowledge. Yeah. Okay. So um, you can ask yourself: Are you a, a a person full of curiosity? Okay, curiosity about things around you about the things that you see, about the things that you hear. Okay, do you always ask questions? Do you always ask questions about oh, why this thing is created this way? Uh, why this thing is this this way? You know, could that be any other ways, you know, to make it all, uh, uh, why you, do you always have questions in your mind, okay, being curious, yeah? Uh, so when we put the word creative and curiosity to, together, all right, so one can explore um, endless possibilities, okay? Uh, just like uh, this a quote uh, by Walt Disney, uh, where he says that curiosity keeps us uh, moving forward, exploring, experimenting, and opening new doors. Okay, now all of us know who is Walt Disney, right? We all grew up watching uh, Disney cartoons and all that. Okay, so that's what he, he, he shared about the curiosity. Okay, next. What I'm going to do now. Um, I'm going to uh, bring you through uh, the creative journey, okay, in, in the field of art and design. And it's also uh, referred to as the design process. And um, I will show you how with creative curiosity, okay, how one can explore endless possibilities, yeah? All right. So in this creative journey, there are actually four stages. Okay, the first one is observation and insights. The second one is creative exploration the third one is thoughtful development and the fourth is creation okay the creation of that fine final uh, artwork all right so let us start off with um the first one observation and insights observing and recording to stimulate ideas okay now the creative journeys normally right begins with gathering stimuli in response to the chosen or given team of a design brief okay so for example um this, this is how i'm going to show you a few examples of how uh, students especially in this foundation level right uh, how they use their creative curiosity okay to observe and investigate in order to gather insightful information yeah for uh, to stimulate idea generation later on okay so this is an example uh, the students are given a brief to create space and um and they can look at things around them okay ordinary things so this example students look at a um pineapple okay and uh, through the um observation and um uh, you know and recording so on the right um hand side of uh this image here it, it's the findings recording of the findings uh how um analyzing the um the the pineapple okay in different ways in different angles looking at the shapes looking at the form looking at you know the surface texture the color and dissecting it and then looking at it how uh, forms and shapes can be abstracted out from just this ordinary fruit okay so next another example the students uh it, it's the same uh projects on uh coming out with uh designing of a space right so the students look at uh an ordinary uh objects it, it uh, a croissant and croissant. so everyone yeah croissant so everyone knows a croissant right you, yeah, you, yeah. you look at it you know you will be uh 
um, how to say, um, mouth watering. Uh, yes, just <laughs> looking at the texture, you know, the pastry and all these things. So actually, um, observing it and then analyzing it, you can also transform it into uh, a space. It could be uh, an inspiration for a, a space. Okay, or uh, it can be inspiration for how. Um, you know what we can abstract up from the form, the simple form. So on the right hand side, these idea sheets is is all this the students how with that curiosity, okay, the creative curiosity to abstract out uh, forms, basic forms and shapes that later on that they can use it to generate ideas. All right, to to create the space. Now another example is uh, the students look at bicycle. Okay, this bicycle, look at it in different angles, uh, you know, uh, and exploring the different, um, the parts. And on this side, on the right-hand side, this idea sheet is, is the uh, recording of the findings. Okay, what are the forms and shapes that, you know, can, can be derived and can be abstracted out from, from, from this bicycle. Yeah, and, and how uh, these this ideas of this abstracted form will be used later on in another stage. To generate ideas, so basically, it's, you know, observing and recording to stimulate ideas. Original ideas come from, you know, direct through observation from our surroundings. Yeah, okay. And then uh, followed by another example. Uh, at least two examples, like you know, um, looking uh, more closely at surface texture. Yeah, uh, of plants of of um, you know the wall surface or you know tree barks and and, and having a closer look at things and, and see how intricate design that you can, we can abstract out from all this surface texture. Yeah. And it can also be uh, uh, to generate ideas later on. Okay. Now on the right hand side is typically the record of, um, you know, different food that we eat uh, from a, a typical Chinese copy yeah, and, uh, and, and record it in, in terms of like, you know, the forms and shapes, the color and, uh, and to, to later on, okay, to um, the stimulate ideas, yeah? So these are the first part of this creative journey through observation and recording and, and to generate insight and, and extra information later on to generate ideas. Okay, now besides uh, using you no know, drawing and sketching, yeah, as you observe, um, nowadays, I think most of us, most of us, you know, we, we have a smartphone. And the smartphone is actually very useful and you can do direct observation very easily to capture. So this example here, these two uh, idea sheets here, it, um, the students uh, uh, have to uh, come up with a poster, poster design and the team that she wants to uh, explore is about, uh, she wants to talk about um, safe driving. Okay, so what she did was she used her camera, her smartphone and go around, you know, capturing pictures of her surrounding. And uh, looking at the interior of cars, you know, uh, the, the parking area, the, 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 the roads, the road sites, and, and, and all that that's related, you know, to, to, to uh, the team about safe driving. So these are her initial uh, records and findings, yeah, through drawing, uh, looking at sign, uh, signages, uh, road sign, um, you know, and, and, and the different uh, um, related uh, uh, elements, okay, it's presented here. So it it's through the direct first op observation and recording. Okay, so now uh, besides using a manual drawing, use a digital tools to record. Okay, so and also okay, this is another example. Besides of, through observation, through uh, using digital tools. All right, so uh, an, another way of uh, finding information. Okay, uh, it's through um, direct um, interaction with another human being, okay? So this is an example of interview uh, 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 recording. Uh, the students were asked to uh, design a, a packaging, a packaging of a special product to be given to someone special, okay? So in order to, to find out more about uh, what, to, what to give, what to create, okay? How, how to make the packaging special. So uh, one of the area of, uh, early research is to talk to the person okay and, and and to find out through interviews so these are two examples of uh, uh interviews being uh, translated into visuals okay and notation yeah so this is
example. Okay, so that part we finish off with observations and insights and how you know uh, being using creative curiosity, you know, to just explore and 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 um and record and investigate. Okay, uh, for idea generation. So now we come to um, the second stage of creative exploration, okay? Explore and experiment to build practical skills, all right? Now, um, no one, okay? One cannot make a work of art without practical skills, okay? So in this stage, right, so it's how students will use their creative curiosity, okay? Creative curiosity to explore and experiment. So not only in idea um, development, okay, but also in uh, playing with, experimenting with different medium and technical um, skills, okay. So what are the basic practical skills that the students can develop, you know, through this process? Uh, it will be drawing and sketching skills, okay, and also technical skills like making, yeah, making, all right. So through experimentation, try and error, uh, one will become more skilled in the use of medium and materials, okay, and able to handle different types of medium materials and techniques, okay. So the following will be the example, like for example, what, uh, what on this slide here, okay, this uh, idea generation, the initial idea generation. So with the creative curiosity, one would never be satisfied with just coming up with one idea, yeah. You, 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 the more curious you are, the more ideas you, you would want to produce because you want to see what if, what if this, what if that, okay? So these are all initial uh, idea generations uh, the, uh, of the form and shape that it, it could be used later on, whether it to create a space or to create a product or, um, you know, um, and, 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 and so forth, yeah? So this is what we call the, in the second stage of creative exploration in idea generation. It's it reminds me, it reminds me yeah. a bit like how we back then as a child, we are always so curious and so creative. So when we look up to the clouds and we can always imagine shapes and uh, things in the, in the clouds and then we translate that thing into our drawings and then into our everyday stuff. I think that's the same topic here, is it? Uh, same concept yes. here. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, this is another example of uh, uh, the students like generating ideas on uh, maybe uh, coming up with a storyline uh, to create a, a storybook or uh, on the right hand side would be um, logo design okay so never satisfied with just coming up with just one one type maybe perhaps okay if uh, i use the the the, the type um, this way i draw it this way i draw it another way so in this example the students actually come up with generated uh, about 11 initial ideas yeah, exploring the 11 ideas to further develop later on, okay? So next is, okay, this is an example of um, uh, character design, okay? Uh, uh, taking on the team from um, the underwater creature, okay? So looking at the, the, the underwater creature in a realistic form and then transforming them and, uh, um, you know, changing and evolving what are the possibilities you know that they can create uh, uh, from 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 the uh, the original uh, life forms yeah so these are an example of exploration idea exploration the, the in, in, initial idea uh, development okay yeah? they explore so not never satisfied with just one outcome all right okay so as as we you are doing exploration, whether you know you're going to draw it out and and uh, or you're going to make it, yeah. So it, there there are varieties of, of medium and materials, you know, in, in out there that you can use and explore. Okay. Now this is an example of let's say on the right hand side, these are all drawing um uh, me, media for you know if if let's say uh, in in high school you use a gel pen, a ball pen, or to write. Right, write your essay or you know, uh, do your homework and all that. But uh, in, in art and design, uh, all these tools can be used to draw. Okay, whether it's a highlighter, whether it's uh, you know, uh, you know the calligraphy uh, brush pen that you use to do uh, Chinese calligraphy, you can use that to draw as well. Okay, so it, it, you can explore anything, right? 
and uh, also uh, in terms of medium, okay, painting mediums, we have acrylic, we have gouache, we have watercolor, um, we have lino ink and uh, color pencils, different types of uh, ink, permanent ink or colored ink. And, and these are all the medium and media that you could explore and experiment, okay, in order to build your practical skills. Like Obviously, these are uh, something that you will touch on during your uh, your lectures, is it? Ah yes, of course. Yeah, we encourage students to 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 explore, uh, different media and materials, uh, okay. in foundation level, so that you know that at least they, they have an idea about um, okay, uh, if if I'm using this medium, okay, what kind of outcome it can create? What are mm. the possibilities? You know, so um, uh, in in foundation level, that's where they're going to do exploration. On so in that topics. in that foundation level, students will yeah. get to. In, in applying your topic just now to in to your courses in yeah, foundation yeah. level they get to learn how to generate ideas how to get inspir inspiration from day-to-day -day objects and yes like uh just now you see also marine life and yes, yes. On, they learn yes. how to translate these things into practical design in actual space in your courses is it ah uh, yes later on in in other stages you you will get to see the the final outcome later on mm. yes yes Okay, so these are the mediums, yeah, right. Okay, next would be, um, you know, when, when we translate our ideas into uh, whether it's a two-dimensional form or three-dimensional form, it involves playing with materials, okay? So here are uh, examples of how students explore materials, yeah, uh, besides using like foam sheets, uh, cartridge paper, uh, calico fabric, um, what is the, the other one was the... Uh, um, modeling card or anything so they're going to deconstruct it they cut it they assemble it they, they explore different ways of you know foldings and all that uh, uh, in order to to um, uh, get to use and familiarize with those materials okay uh, on on the right hand side here these are all found materials discarded materials uh, recycled materials all this can be explored and an experiment to create two-dimensional or three-dimensional uh, work, yeah? So um, if the students will, if they're creative, they, if they have a lot of curiosity, all right, um, they can, uh, with very minimum materials around them, they can still create really, really great works, yeah? Okay, and next, uh, other examples. These are examples of the idea sheets where the students play with media material and uh, color, uh, experimentation and they present it in, in, in this way after their, uh, what they have done to the, uh, the evidence. These are the evidence of um, the, the, the exploration. Yeah. So these are an examples. This is another example as well on media material color um, experimentation. Okay. And then here is also beside playing with the materials, uh, we also playing with uh, experimenting with different processes. Okay. Like creating uh, like playing uh, with uh, color exploration, with color, you know, you play with color medium. So it could be in acrylic, it could be watercolor, uh, it could be printmaking it, it, and, and testing on different uh, layouts, okay, uh, and, and see the outcome. So these are still at experimental stages, yeah, explore is what we encourage the students to do that. Okay, so, and when it comes to three-dimensional form, so with the initial ideas of, you know, you're drawing all these different ideas, different uh, shapes and form, and then and and now it's to how to use the materials that they have, okay, and, and to create that structure out, and to test out whether okay, I, I draw out this this design, okay, can I see it? Can can I see it in 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 an actual three dimensional form? Okay, so you have to explore. The students have to explore and experiment. So this. This is where they apply their creative curiosity again and to construct and to explore and, 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 and to um, experiment, yeah, and, 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 and making it up, right? So these are examples of the early stages of sketch models, yeah? This reminds me of like how a lot of uh, building architects, they will stack blocks, huh? mm. they will stack wooden blocks to see if the structure is sound and structure yes, is, yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah, to test so out don't get whether... to play with that kind of, kind of, of thing, is it? Yes, yes, that's but part, part of it. We wanted them to, to explore. So 
So, mm. like for example, this one is all from discarded materials. Uh, yeah. You know, the corrugated uh, box. You know, nowadays we, we we do a lot of online purchases, right? And online purchases, all these products are packed, come with different packaging and all that. And all these are can be recycled and 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 can create a very interesting structure, yeah, and objects. Okay, it's an example. And uh, I, I want to share this one because uh, this one it is an example of a, a student. Um, uh, she wanted to create a, a backpack, okay, and uh, she wanted to explore the material uh, using uh, this is using the cardboard, and 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 how she just experiment with different ways of you know uh, doing layering or or overlapping and all that in, in order to cre create this this backpack, this little backpack, yeah, as a sketch model. So it's just testing out of her design because you know this is the shape that she draw. So she wanted to have to look at it. How does it look like, you know, in three-dimensional forms? So she has to experiment with materials. Okay, the third picture here is actually a combination of um, recycle, um, exploring recycled plastic bottles and uh, recycled wood. Yeah, so yeah, this is uh, examples. And then um, I want to show you this, this, this um, two examples here. Uh, actually, the students are given a, a, a brief. Um, a team about global warming and they, and and they have to create a, a head garment okay to to express the message uh, any message that's related to uh under the big theme of uh, global warming so these are the exploration stages where the students just uh this this project actually was done during the the mco where you know where the students cannot go out and and buy materials and all that so they they are very creative they they look around them with things that they can find, yeah, like newspaper, um, uh, aluminum foil, masking tape, all these uh, discarded materials, and then they, they construct their design out to see, okay, uh, this is my design for the head government, okay, and then they explore the, the structure and all that, so these are examples, there's really great examples here. I think during the MCO time, students get particularly creative because they're locked inside a house and then with all these boxes and involved. So I think you'll be getting yeah. you you are getting a lot of those images from them using recycled papers as a as a medium of creativity. Is it? Yes, yes. We encourage them to explore. We we actually uh, want want them to do that because um um and then only they can able to see the the the, the, the possibilities that they can create with limited resources. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So now we go to the third stage. Okay, the third stage we talk about um uh, thoughtful development. Okay, now development is uh, uh, an important concept. Okay, for the creation of art, art and design. Okay, this is like a journey. Okay, from the beginning uh, to the end results. Okay, meaning one will constantly uh, assessing the progress of ideas and making changes to improve uh, the ideas until the final execution of the visual form okay so uh, this this one here is kind of like you know it is at the um uh, further development stages okay whereby uh, the, the few sites that i show in the second stage were exploring uh, ideas right so this, this is like a further development where uh, the, the forms and shapes are a bit more defined again it's also not just uh, developed one one time it's being developed and explored in different in different in different ways and different angles as well okay before that finally put together to to form a either a two-dimensional or three-dimensional uh, artwork all right okay then this is another example that i want to show uh, like what what does it mean development as a journey from beginning to the end so th this uh six example here is not towards the end but uh almost it's like it's uh, an example up to the sketch model part Okay, so from the first idea sheets here, uh, all these simple forms, you see the star shape, the heart shape, you know, the, the circular shapes and all that. These are abstracted from uh, from the students' uh, personal collections of her earrings, yeah, uh, from her costume jewelries. And then, you know, and she transformed them into different ideas of uh, creating a, a container or a box, a jewelry box, a, a container, yeah, through, through, through the inspiration from her, her earring um collection okay so these are the, the progress you can see the development here okay until uh to to the the sketch model visualizing out you know the design whether does it work can can, can i construct it out yeah so this is that development thoughtful development okay and um 
and towards this this one would be kind of almost to the end it, it's that final sketch model but it's not the final final okay so this is a sketch model where uh, again uh, experimenting still experimenting with different materials yeah to construct and if you if you look at the uh, the forms and the overlapping of the forms and, and the shapes you it will remind you uh, of um, uh, some of the one of the early uh, slides that I, I share on the bicycle okay so this is actually uh, the the development from from the bicycle uh, exploration yeah from the bicycle exploration so this work towards the, the final development yeah I can see the gear shape and this is a chain I think the bicycle chain that the inspired. bicycle chain yes there yes. we go yeah Late, later on then uh, I, I will show you the final outcome and then uh, the students will explain the source of inspiration you know the process and all that so it, it all these different stages actually they are interrelated yeah the interrelated so the creative curiosity actually doesn't just start from the first the first stage they actually require to be in all the stages yeah okay so the next one another example of like uh, towards the end the final uh, further refinement development before making in constructing into an, an actual three-dimensional model uh, this this one the original idea the original source of inspiration is actually looking at um MRT train, uh, MRT trains, uh, all the different you know uh, uh, types of uh, uh, MRT trains. Yeah, so this is that final uh, kind of uh, the, the final further refined development before the final execution. An example. Okay, now we come to some two-dimensional design. Okay, so this is uh, the final uh, uh, packaging layout where uh, you know deciding on uh, the color scheme, deciding on the the final uh, uh, motif that's going to be included in, in, in the packaging and, and the arrangement, the layout. Okay? Now, the motif that you see here actually it is inspired from uh, tiles design, traditional tiles design found in uh, uh, old shop houses. Okay? So these are examples more towards the end. All right. So now um, with the, um, uh, the, the, the development okay, um, of... Um, uh, the, the process as one continue to develop in doing so right the students are, are able to produce okay a compilation of work in progress and an evidence of original ideas okay and this becomes their um, creative portfolio of work yeah uh, the evidence so now uh, looking at the, that final stage, the final stage will be the realizing of the final outcome. So these are some of the final outcomes, yeah, um, uh, of uh, the product product of endless possibilities. Okay, so uh, this is um, from the foundation level in their first semester. Okay, uh, playing with mater uh, materials like wire. Okay, uh, very basic uh, boards, and and this is a, this is a, a a a project we call the secret box. Yeah. With different compartments and, and this is a functional lens with very simple modular design okay this is final outcome for a two-dimensional uh, uh using material uh, uh the medium of uh, uh, pen uh, pencils uh, charcoal uh, oil pastel soft pastel yeah the example of the final final outcome and then this is another example of a final outcome uh, but the students are asked to create a, a, a story, uh, uh, make, making it into a three sequential uh, little book with, little sto with, with a storyline. Okay, so this is one example. The, the students, uh, the, 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 the story uh, is developed from her own experience. Okay, and uh, besides like the, the, the drawing skills, the painting skill, the, the technical skills and all that, the students also will explore um, using photography. Okay, these are two examples of what we call visual journal. Uh, one on the uh, left hand side, this is a three dimensional uh, visual journal. Uh, the students actually um, explore uh, her, her hometown. Okay, and, and created a, a three, three, three D visual journal, pretty interesting with different angles. Um, and, and introducing her, 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 her hometown. And on, on this right-hand side, it, it's another hometown by another student, but uh, it's slightly a bit different. It's a bit two-dimensional and it can be hung on the wall. Okay, it's like a pizza. 
okay, is another example of final outcome, two-dimensional poster design. Okay, and then this is the, the head garment. Uh, earlier on, I showed the sketch model. So now this is the final model. Okay, final model with the color application and all that. And uh, this is another uh, example of that final outcome, the, the head garment design. Okay, and then this is uh, the packaging, the final uh, packaging design, uh, the final poster and, or, and, and the, the, the three-dimensional uh, packaging and how the, the, the design is being applied. So these are final outcomes. Yeah, final outcome. Here's another uh, two examples of final outcome. Like on, on this one here, actually, the source of inspiration is from... Uh, sushi. Sushi, yes, sushi. So uh, this is actually a container. Uh, um, uh, yeah, container. It's uh, very interesting to see that this, I think, in this topic, you don't just narrow yourself into one topic of design you don't just design for mm. furniture you don't just design for clothing you don't de just mm. design for for uh let's say office you design mm. you the basic thing is to you learn how to conceptualize and mm. through conceptualizing you can actually apply your skills to yeah. every sense of design right yes yes, yes. Be because it's, it's it's foundation level is it's the level where the students uh, explore and mm. experiment yeah uh, uh discover it, Yes, to discover uh, what what is art and design. What is in art and design? Okay, mm, mm, so like for example, this one is the the, the final one, the, the, that final one which the inspiration from the bicycle. Okay, mm. so here we get to see the final outcome of the model, the, the space, the space model, and on here uh, she show the progress of the sketch model from one stage to another and to the final outcome. Which she mentioned, this is yeah. a cafe. Ah, uh, yes, cafe. she said it's a it's a cafe. Yeah. So. so the, yeah. student will be able to learn how to conceptualize from basic items a bicycle chain yeah. conceptualized into a cafe design yes yes and we'll learn step by step process in your course is it yes yes all yes, right yes yeah so that that's the interesting part in it for the in the foundation level and uh, i want i want to show you the final one the final slides on the the creation the fourth stage right this, this one is, is a very special um outcome because uh, the, the, the inspiration for, for this uh, space structure, right, is actually from experience, okay? So that's what she says here, see? Uh, do you remember trying this when you were at the beach, um, holding one of the seashells and you grab uh, to your ears and hear the sound that is similar to a quiet roll of calm wave rolling onto the shore? And the particular sound inspired me to create a seaside restaurant that is specially targeted for audience. So I look at uh, what she has written here, right? It, it, it's so interesting because the source of inspiration is coming from something intangible. It's mm. an experience, her experience, yeah? So there are uh, a lot of different possibilities, okay? So art and design is an interesting area to study, yeah? And there's a lot to learn. But along the way, you know, of course, um, especially let's say for example as you're doing exploration and experimentation right one you know uh, might face you know some uh, failed experiment but also you may uh, one may also um, have some uh, interesting accidents along the way okay so learning uh, from mystics is also one of the important aspects of 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 uh, um, in, in as in in playing with materials playing with medium in art and design okay mm. so by continuously testing and playing with different uh, medium you know the students will able to somehow find their own personal um, yeah. the styles and i think need to point it, i think i would like to point it up to the students uh, yeah. that this student uh what's mm. what's her name uh, whatever her name is mm. she through this course mm. she learned how to um get inspiration from a seashell mm. and uh, the fact that seashells, the shape itself, and also the property when you put up to your ears, you can hear the sound mm. of the mm. ocean. Yeah. So she applied that concept, that idea, mm. into a restaurant by the sea. Yeah. So they were able to learn. These students are basically just learn uh, how to use this concept and then make it into an idea step by step, drawing into a concept, drawing from into a concept then design the own space itself from this course so i think it's very impressive that yeah. uh this student uh mm. without going through the course oh with going through the course they they are able to 
uh, change, transform one thing, ordinary yeah. thing, to yeah. one special thing. Yes, yes, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, uh, with 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 that, um, you know, um, I, I just like to share with you, uh, in in our uh faculty, the the, the foundation course, right? So, with with all this very interesting creation, right? The students has the opportunity as well to showcase, you know, their their talent. So this is an example of um, uh, the, the design, the head garment design. They get to parade uh, in the little garden uh, outside the, the studios. And then it is actually a competition. Yeah. So this is the group photo that we have there. And also as well, um, you know, the, the, the students work, uh, uh, has, the students have the opportunity to showcase their work in, in, in the campus environment as well. Uh, yeah, because we are very proud of the students' work, the, the, especially in foundation level. And we also have a very wonderful uh, uh, gallery called White Canvas Gallery. And then from time to time, the students, the foundation students, get to showcase their work as well. Yeah. And, uh, and as well as uh, now these uh, four pictures here, uh, uh, these are the students that in their final semester, that means that the, the final, uh, that they're going to graduate from the foundation course. So they get to display all their sketch models, uh, their presentation board, and their final model. And so that you know, uh, uh, people can come in and, and, and look at their world and interact with them. Yeah. So this is uh, the example. So besides, like you know, uh, we, we uh, uh, are doing uh, studios, works, and all that. They, they get to mingle around as well and, and have other activities uh, like group activities. So these are example of uh, mural painting uh, outside the studios. Yeah. Uh, and different groups, uh, different com um, uh, in interactions. So these are examples and uh, they also have um, we also provide them with a lot of opportunities to to uh, try out different workshops uh, we have invited guests uh, invite, uh, invited uh, instructor um, and for, for to teach them uh, and experience a, a lot of hands-on workshops yeah and also from time to time um, I think foundation uh, students in our faculty also get the opportunity to do a uh, live projects so this is an example of where the students come up with a, a column design for a Deepawali festival. Uh, this is in the year 2019 in uh, Wanutama. Yeah. Yeah, so, so the students really enjoy the process. And also they also get the opportunity to mingle with the uh, degree seniors. So this is uh, an event where uh, the foundation students get, get to join the, uh, uh, the degree students from the interior architecture and design and uh, they had a uh, a one day uh, uh, drawing and sketching uh, in the city uh, is a collaboration with Kuala Lumpur Urban Sketcher uh, by the, the, the River of Life uh, near Masjid Damit. Yeah, so it's, it's not just like they, they just stick in their studios. So uh, these are all before pandemic. Yeah, and uh, this is uh, one of the their visits to uh, Faber Castell. They also had a, a workshop there as well. Okay. So I just want to show you the glimpse of uh, uh, the, the, the design studios, the foundation design studios and the drawing studios uh, with the, the proper arrangement uh, according to the current situation. Yeah. So, okay, so with that, um, I, I just uh, want to uh, uh, give you the students this quote uh, by Mazuri A. Uh, Hickey. Uh, with intellectual curiosity in the world, uh, the world will always be full of magic and wonder. Okay, so students, I hope you were able to find your interest and I hope you, you will pursue it with passion. And lastly, um, um, uh, please enjoy the journey. Okay. So mm. with that, I would like to end my talk. Uh, thank you for listening. And uh, well, I hope that uh, I will be able to meet some of you uh, in person in the near future. Okay. Thank you. Uh, well, thank you very that, much, uh, Yvonne. All right. Uh, I okay. think this is very suitable topic for a lot of students that is a bit uh, creative like me. Uh, I used to, you know, a lot of students back then, you know, back in high school, you, we used to draw a lot and doodle a lot on yeah. our textbooks and whatnot. Whatever we see, we just draw it. And especially for me, I rem uh, I'm re I can recall when I was a kid and I looked at a stapler, you know, how staplers are. And then we, I, we will always imagine it as a spaceship or we we'll imagine it as something else. So that was, that is the part of conceptualizing process, the process yeah. of transforming one thing into mm -hmm. another. Basically yeah. we are drawing 
we are drawing inspiration from one thing mm. and turning into something else. Mm. I think this is the part of the lesson that you are being uh, taught in the foundation level in arts, creative arts. So uh, this is particularly suitable for these students like me, exactly. So um, these students will be able to transform their skills on of imagination yeah. into a bread and butter. So they mm. through this course, they learn how to do this and doing this they be able to trans take this take these skills and move it to somewhere else somewhere else would be uh, furniture design uh, a yeah. toy design product yeah. design yeah. or product packaging design yeah. or even uh interior and exterior design yeah. for houses yeah. and buildings yeah. so uh these are really suitable for the students that is interested in knowing how to design things and how to properly design things like the student like the examples that were given just now mm. uh some students design things with a particular purpose in mind mm. so let's say if i'm a, if i if i'm a bit more entrepreneurial but i'm creative at the same time mm. let's say i want a cafe that sounds like the sea like just now the student mm. i would design a cafe in a shape of a she seashells and then with um with the with the whole architecture design around the echoes of uh, the sea Mm. So th that is, I think, what I can draw from the presentation just now by uh, Miss Yvonne. And this would help me in selling this product to an architect or, a, or a, a big business. They were able to build this thing into actual actuality. So that is, that is basically the career path, one of the career path. But Miss Yvonne, I want mm. to make it clear for a lot more students. I think mm. you will be the right person to ask. What are the uh, professional things that we can pursue in this course after the foundation, after the uh, after the foundation? Because we after foundation, we have to move to degree, right? Or yeah, master yeah. even. Yeah. So yeah. after each stage, what can I pursue? After foundation, what can I pursue? Okay. Um, uh, this, the, the, found, the foundation course at uh, SCUC, right? It actually helps the students like to identify um, to uh, their interests, their area of interest. So like, for example, in semester one, when they come in, there are three semester, okay? So first first and second semester is it's all about um, learning the basic, the fundamentals, okay? And, and learning about uh, what is two-dimensional, what is three-dimensional. So by the time when they come to uh, semester three, okay? So they, they, uh, they will have an idea, you know, in their head that, okay, uh, which direction that I want to pursue, whether I'm going to pursue two dimension or three dimension. So the final projects, right, will, will be the path that they, they will take on for degree. Let's say, for example, their final project, they want to do some two dimensional design. Okay. So basically, like they, they will be going to uh, graphics. Okay. Design uh, packaging, design yes. the yes. cover of books or yes. cover of a product. Yeah. Is yeah. it? Yeah, or, or different, uh, you know, now they have all these different uh, new media. Mm. Yeah, okay. Mm. Uh, and then say, the yeah. third dimension would be product itself and yeah. buildings, is it? Yes, products and interior, okay. interior architecture design and all that. Yeah, and also I, like some also will be able to go through um, uh, like doing something like in other design area, like, like fashion design, uh, like... Uh, you know, uh, di di different path. So in 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 in, in uh, when they complete the foundation program, they will have that um, that that ability to to mm. know the direction already. Which, okay. Which direction to take on? So basically, through foundation, I'm I'm I will learn the basic. Let's say if if I'm a creative student, but I don't know how to draw, mm. through the foundation that you offer. In yeah. the course, I will be. Yeah. I'll learn how to draw. That's one thing. Yeah. I'll learn how to conceptualize. Meaning, I yeah. draw a product or draw yeah. certain thing, any anything, yeah. Yeah. and then discover what kind of things are interest me. Yes. Uh, if yes. uh, do I do I see? Am I interested in cars? You know, yeah. design yeah. of cars. Yeah. Am I interested in oh. furniture? The yeah. Yeah. you know the seats. Yeah. You know how yeah. we you know, in a lot of houses we have really nice seats, creative seats, or maybe even chairs and yeah. tables creative yeah. tables this kind of thing yeah, yeah. And then or if i'm a pro mm. person that interested in product i can mm. design learn how to pro design product is it that's what i discovered through foundation product yeah uh, yeah pro foundation course yeah 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 it is it is after foundation then we specialize in that certain design is it yes 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 so in yes. let's say in degree from yeah. after foundation we move into degree we yeah. 
uh, is it am I, am I right if we we can go we can choose to go into design in product design in furniture design in cars automotive design this kind of thing uh, that would depend um, on um, the, the portfolio that they have created because in, in art and design right uh, mm. the most important thing right like for students and they apply for a higher tertiary level in degree right mm -hmm. um, they, they need to to showcase um, th their strength through their portfolio so mm. their portfolio is strong okay i think they they are able to go through a different design uh field okay yeah. so i think it would be very accurate to say that uh like i say for students that let's say they are interested in cafes they can through this course it's it's still applicable to them it's still suitable for them because basically through foundation they just learn how to design better cafes and then they need to develop their own portfolio in design multiple cafes and then at the end of the day after their foundation they move into uh interior design is it and then okay yeah. then uh talk me through about the career progression in terms of design let's say uh i'm a Let's say I'm a generic student, I'm a normal student. What are the career paths available for me through design? Uh, uh, well, there, there are different areas, like uh, like what you mentioned just now, right? Um, you, you, you can uh, explore on uh, being an interior designer. You can uh, be a uh, furniture designer, product designer, you can be a fashion designer, you can be a... Um, a graphic designer um yeah in what ways do your uh college or, or in what ways do your college offer me as a platform to showcase my product or my portfolio ah uh like for the the, the degree most of the, the uh, for the degree courses right they they have their final showcase mm -hmm. uh, at the end of their final year mm -hmm. and then whereby um you know uh um uh, the people from the industry will mm. be able to come and 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 uh, look at their, their work and uh, most of the time i think a lot of the graduates um uh, take on this uh opportunity the final showcase mm. yeah uh to 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 get a connection uh, with with the people in the industry okay so this happens every end of the year is it yeah end of their yeah end of end of their final year end of their final year so yeah. uh, i'm a third year Third, uh, no, not how many? How long is the foundation again? A oh, foundation is only one year. Foundation is one year, yeah, but then yeah. the showcase is only happens in the third year in degree. Uh, yeah, in, in foundation, they have that opportunity at the end of semester three to showcase their work. Ah, uh, okay, I understand. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, that yeah. is where you, um, that is where basically I get. I get to expose to a lot of different different people from the industry and people from the industry. Let's say if I'm interested oh, in no. art design. In, in, in foundation, in foundation level, basically it prepares the students uh, for degree level, uh, not, not for the industry. Uh, all right, all right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Right. So so they get to, um, the, um, they actually by the end of the, the semester three, right, they, they, they get to um, uh, talk to the degree um, lecturers ah uh, okay yeah they get a lot of inputs and constructive uh uh creates and different session interview sessions you know uh, with the degree lecturers mm. Mm. so i think this course offers a lot of self-discovery would you agree mm, yes because they, they can discover their strength through uh -huh. through through the different uh, uh semester it is a very open-ended foundation because at the end of the foundation, you don't just, let's say, um, ended up doing, let's say if I'm doing law, the foundation in law, then I'll have to go into degree in law. But your foundation is more open-ended, it's more flexible. If yeah. I discover that I'm interested in something else, I may be able to apply my knowledge in foundation and apply it to something else that I like, is it? Uh, only in design field. Only in design field. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. But it's still relatively flexible, isn't it? For a lot of yeah. students. Uh. Yes, yes. Because design field is very wide. Design field is very wide. Yeah. So what would the uh, expectation for students that follows your foundation? Would they expect a lot of hands-on? Is there a lot of course uh, work? What are the expectations for students that are doing foundations? Uh, of course, uh, um, you have to be very committed and always keep your uh, creative curiosity mm. intact yeah and, and and pursue and and be committed to um like there will be a lot of uh, drawing 
yeah, uh, exploring and, and playing with materials. So like what I shared just now in, in, in my talk, yeah, so every, every process, every stages uh, requires a lot of commitment. Mm. Yeah. So I think passion is a strong word here. Yes, yeah. so you need to be lot, very passionate. Yeah. yeah, you need to be very passionate because just yeah. now I saw that there's a lot of coursework that students submitted to you even during MCO time. So they, they at least they need to be able to motivate themselves to design things from everyday object and then to make sure they discipline themselves to 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 practice their skills and practice their yeah. their craft and showing it to lecturers like you isn't it yeah 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 all right so i think that we will close today's session so students